Well, let's look at how to do package management using the DPKG Debian Package Manager on Ubuntu. First of all, Ubuntu is a Linux distribution that is part of the Debian family and uses the Debian Package Management. So if I do ls minus l, you can see that I have a file right here. So netsec.cad.deb. And I want to install this package. So the way I install it is I use root access. So sudo dpkg minus i and the name of the package. I can also do install or dash dash install instead. So put the password in and it goes ahead and installs it. I could also do a dash dash install, same thing to get it installed. Either way, that gets it put onto my machine. All right. Now, if I want to remove this package, I don't need to use the .deb extension because it knows what it is, but I could do a, a sudo dpkg minus r or dash dash remove and then the name of the package netsec cad and that will remove the package it also tells me it doesn't remove this local directory because that directory is still there that's fine if i wanted to instead of just removing the package so let's put it reinstall it again i could also do a dash dash purge or i could do a dash capital p to remove the package and any configuration files that come with it this one doesn't have any but if i do that it removes it and so then the package is gone and the configuration files are gone as well all right so now it's not installed but what if i want to see what the contents of this package are so dpkg minus c and i can list the package file and I can see, oh, it's going to create or make sure we have a, a slash directory, a user directory, a user local, a user local bin directory, and then it's going to put this binary file into the user local bin. So that's what it's going to do. It's just very small, very little that it puts in there, but you can see what it'll do. So now if I go ahead and install it, sudo dpkg minus i and my package it's installed the files there now if i want to list all of my packages or list the contents for this package i guess list the contents for this package i could now do this minus capital l and i can list this package cad and it will tell me which files were actually put there. So it says, well, it made sure this one was installed. And so you can see that, that's great. If I wanna see if this package is actually installed on my machine, I can do sudo dpkg minus L for this package. And it says, oh yeah, this one is currently installed. There you go. And it's a network security academy client agent. That's great. Okay, so it's installed. It's there. We're good. If I want more information about this. I could also do a minus capital S for status, and that will list this package. You can see, okay, it's installed. The maintainer is Joseph Colton, which is me. Uh, the version number, all that information installed. If I were to uninstall this package, so minus r and remove it and then try doing the same status thing it'd say well it's not there and if i were to list it it says no packages match that because it's not there so if i want to reinstall it i can do that and get it installed all right now because it is installed there are some files that came with it if you remember from earlier and if I list the contents of the package, there we go. You can see that it puts something in user local bin NSA. Now, if I say, okay, does is there a package that provides a file called NSA? There's actually lots of them, but we'll go ahead and do a search. DPKG minus S. This is a capital S this time. 
then NSA, and you can see these are all of the packages that have NSA in them. Well, if I want to filter that, I could type through grep, and maybe I want just NSA as the last character, or last, the end of the string. And you can say, okay, these are the only ones that have it. And you can see that there is a package called NetSecCat that does have this there. These other ones also have this at the end, but they are not this. There's different things. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea of how to search for packages. So now, what if I have a file on my system and I want to figure out where it came from? So if I do a ls minus al and do a bin, well, it says, oh, bin is redirected from user bin. And that becomes important because they're actually being put into user bin, usually not into bin. So if I do find user bin, I can see here's a list of files. What about this yes file? Where did yes come from? Well, I could do yes. Search for that. You can see it's right there. And now if I do a dpkg minus capital S, case, and I run this, it will tell me where it came from. You can see that this came from core utils. And so if I really want to remove this particular binary package, which I would recommend against, you could remove the core utils. Well, what does core utils provide? Well, we could do a dpkg minus capital L for list contents or list files, and then core utils, and it lists a whole lot of files. So I can pipe that through less, and then I can see, oh, all of these things are all from core utils. There's lots of them there. So if I want to do something like, I don't know, make a directory, well, that's part of my core utils. And that gives you an idea of how to figure out how packages work. Normally, you wouldn't want to use dpkg directly for most things. Uh, individual packages, such as this one I installed right here, you might want to install that way. But generally, you'll want to just do an apt installation type thing. If I wanted to look at all the system, all the packages that are installed in the system, I could do that, dpkg minus l for list everything. And it allows me to scroll through them all and see all the ones that are installed in my system. If I want to see how many that is, I could do a wc, pipe through wc, and it will say, well, there are 1,572 lines of course, if you look at this, you can see the first couple of lines are actually not packages. So you basically subtract about one, two, three, four, five lines off of that. And you can see that we have probably 1,567 or something. Uh, if we were to verify that, so app list. And you can see that one also starts with a blank line. And we do pipe that through WC for word count. We can see that it is not what we wanted. But uh, we want to do installed. And then we can see we have a number that was pretty similar. So 1568, which has that top line that isn't a package. And so you can see these numbers are really close. So you can kind of get an idea of how you can look and see which packages are installed on your system using the dpkg command. Anyway, hope that it helps you get more familiar with this command.